You know, whenever I take a look at Numskull Quarter Arcades, I'm kind of reminded of that fine china in the dining room. These are wonderful miniature arcade recreations that they've been pretty much kicking ass and taking names since they initially launched. And sure enough, number eight in their series was the Bubble Bobble Cabinet. I sat this one out, but then turned around and saw that it had a good deal on Amazon for 128 bucks. So I went ahead and I picked it up. And although I have these out of the box on display and occasionally play with them from time to time, I do hang on to the boxes. I don't know about you guys, but taking a look here, I do really like hanging on to the boxes. The boxes are fantastic. Take a look at how good that looks. Let's unbox this bad boy, see what's inside. And when you receive these, it's typically a box within a box within a box, but we skip some of those steps for you, plus plenty of foam packing inside the main box. All the units come with these beautiful, colorful instruction booklets, tell you how to use the games, how to play the games, how to access all the features of the cabinet in multiple languages, etc. And every cabinet comes with a USB to micro USB cable. This is for charging as well as to play while plugged in. What's really nice is these do have those rechargeable batteries so you could take them on the go if you so choose. The best part always is getting that main unit out of the box and taking a look at it. Now, apparently the original Bubble Bubble arcade cabinet did not have a dedicated cabinet design. So Quarter Arcades worked closely with Taito to create this one of a kind cabinet featuring the original ROM running on a bespoke emulator, as well as original cabinet artwork, as well as adding an official marquee bezel and control panel, all artwork from Taito designers. And as you can take a look here, look at that coin door. This molded coin door is probably the best one that I've ever seen Numskull do on their quarter arcades. You do have the rounded uh, control panel with your player one and player two starts. Bub and Bob, yes. This is the first two player arcade from Numskull. From an appearance point of view, Numskull is living up to their quarter arcade reputation with this cabinet by once again just hitting it out of the park from a design perspective. Everything looks beautiful, at least in my humble opinion. I mean, take a look at that control deck, look at the artwork surrounding the control deck, look at the artwork surrounding the bezel. Yes, these are quarter arcades, they're really tiny. Are you really going to get two people playing side by side on this thing? Probably not. These are more collectibles, right? Like I keep these on my shelf, pull them down every once in a while and play them. They're great conversation pieces, things to look at. On the back of the cabinet, you have a couple little finger holes for carrying. You got that nice little numbskull plaque. You got your on off rocker switch, micro USB charger with the LED light for charging uh, notifications. And then of course you have the volume uh, slider. And of course the best part about any new arcade toy is powering it on for the first time and waiting for that iconic sounds and music and lights. And speaking of powering up the device and checking out some pretty cool options, you do get dip switch settings. Once that Bubble Bobble logo disappears, if you hit the player one and player two start button simultaneously, you will be able to enter dip switch settings. This bright blue screen is kind of hard to capture, but you can adjust the difficulty, number of lives, number of boat points to get bonus lives, things like that. Uh, uh, a track mode sounds, how many coins for how many credits, etc. Really cool that they give us those features on this cabinet. And of course, the buttons on the molded coin door light up and they look super awesome. That's for inserting your coins for both players. And then sure enough, uh, we do have our light up marquee. Take a look here at that screen. That screen looks fantastic. Kind of hard for my camera here to pick it up because of some auto dimming features, but we'll get you some uh, decent footage here in a second. Take a look at that light up marquee. Everything you've ever wanted uh, in a marquee. Look at that. Oh, so cute. Real shame here my camera doesn't capture this screen in all of its glory as it properly should. The blacks look nice and rich in black. Uh, as you can tell by the bottom of the screen, you'll notice the, the top of the screen is a little bit lighter, but guys, that is the camera, that is not the game. The game itself, uh, the colors, the screens, everything looks great, nothing looks washed out, and it plays and sounds wonderfully. Let's take a listen.
fans of these numbskull quarter arcades, some people, like me, primarily have them on display only, might pull them down and play them every once in a while. Others like to play them frequently, totally up to you, but from a gameplay perspective, even though you're playing on a micro mini console with this mini joystick, mini buttons, the joystick and the buttons are actually really good quality, as always with the Numbskull Quarter Arcades, and sure enough, everything just works, and it's easy to play, obviously one player. Could you actually play two players on this thing? I highly doubt you could get four fingers in there, but you never know. I didn't even try, so... Let me know, guys, if you actually got two people playing side by side on this thing. But I have no complaints about how this game operates and functions. And as always with these Numbskull Quarter Arcades, they do save your high scores, which is super, super sweet. The number one thing that annoys me on some home arcade products is if the products do not save your high scores. But as always, Numbskull Quarter Arcades do, so happy to see that feature as well. Normal retail price on typical Numbskull Quarter Arcade products is $160. Again, I held off on this one because I really didn't want to spend $160 on it, even though I knew it would be great. And I'm glad I did because even though I'm months behind on this review and everyone else who's purchased this cabinet, what I can say is I got it for $128 off Amazon and I'm really happy that I saved about $40. Because for $160, sometimes it's kind of hard to justify these collectibles even though they are made of the best premier quality that you can get in a micro mini arcade console but for 160 dollars it gets tough it gets tough but for 128 i'm feeling really good about my purchase and definitely feel it's worth the 128 that i paid as always i try to find opportunities for improvement whenever i review products but i really just i can't find any guys i really can't find any opportunities for improvement for this micro mini arcade console I think Numbskull did a really good job here. Definitely would recommend picking this one up if you haven't added it to your quarter arcade collection as of today. Definitely though, guys, I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys collect these? Which ones do you have? Which ones are your favorites? Do you have this one? And what's your honest feedback, opinions, and reactions of this particular product? Definitely leave me those comments and stuff after the video's over. I'll have links to everything you need to know about this product in the video description below. If you enjoyed the review, do me a favor, guys, give me a thumbs up on the way out. And as always, thank you for subscribing.